color breaking or the separation of a color mixture into its various pigments is dramatic and often feels magical. You can start with a purple and then by adding yarn to your dye bath a little bit at a time, you might see the red strike first, the blues take longer to strike, and it gives you this gradient of pink through purple to bright blue, which every time I do it just feels absolutely magical. Now this particular color that I was using here is Wilton's Violet Icing Color, which has blue one and red three. And unfortunately, as of January 2025, the FDA has banned the use of red three food coloring for use in food. So Wilton is going to be reformulating their purples in the future. But it's still fun to play with and to use to dye yarn. Just moving forward, I'll be using this as dedicated dye equipment that isn't always used for the preparation of food, whether that is in a metal dye pot or in a glass mason jar. Um, and if you use hot water, uh, you can get the colors to set in there really nicely as well. I just can't think of any other color combination where the breaking is this dramatic and also has the two pigments balanced in this kind of way. There are commercial acid dyes that absolutely break, but usually those pigments have a lot more of one of the colors than the other, so you don't quite get something as dramatic as this. 